So, this week, responsibility at school. Now, some of you haven't been to school in a while. Over a year. That's so weird that you haven't been to school in a year. But trust me, the kids that are here, we see some of the same mistakes that we always see. So when we talk about responsibility at school, what does that mean? Responsibility. Well, we know responsibility means something that you're supposed to do, right? We've talked about responsibility at home. Coach of none has talked about that, where you have your chores or, you know, helping out or to clean the dishes, whatever. Uh, listening to mommy, making your bed, responsibilities at home. But the responsibilities at school are a little different, right? So we still have some things, some things that some of the boys have trouble with. I don't know about the girls. Some of the boys, yeah, they don't flush the toilet. Yeah, you go in the bathroom and they're floating in there like, hello, ew, flush the toilet. What's even scarier is there's no toilet paper, which means somebody didn't clean up afterwards. Ooh. Ew. Ooh. Gross. That's a responsibility also, right? Your hygiene. Now, you may say, coach, that's at home. No, hygiene, that's, by the way, that's cleaning yourself, right? You know, keep brushing your teeth, hair, washing, bathing, wiping properly, all that is hygiene, right? Now, at school, you have a responsibility for your hygiene. Yeah, you don't want to smell and make everybody else deal with it. If it was just you living in a hut in the middle of the woods or in some cave and you stunk that badly, they have bacteria growing all over your body because that's what smell is, right? It's, ew, ew, gross, right? But it's just you. You deal with it. But when you come to school, yeah, some of you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of you, yeah, you don't. Yep. Ooh, man, come on now. Oh, and yesterday. Oh. Yesterday, third, fourth, and fifth, yeah, they had to take off their shoes, right? Yeah, right. Wow. Uh, yeah, washing your feet, clean socks, wearing socks. You have to wear socks, guys, okay? It's not, if you have flip-flops on, it's not a big deal. But when you got shoes on, yeah, your feet get really sweaty. And then the dirt gets in. And dirt and sweat and skin that because you're always losing skin yeah smelly oh my gosh the smell okay so socks clean every day shoes right wash them every once in a while wash the soap responsibility hygiene when you go to the bathroom flush if you make a mess all over the sink i know some of them don't have paper towels but if you may some make a mess all over if there's a paper towel clean up a little bit right it's not the custodian's job to clean up after you, their job is just to ensure that it's clean, kill the germs, right? Not to come up and wipe up every time you guys do something in there. Now, restroom, right? We're responsible with our behavior. We don't swing on the doors, we don't look under the stalls, we're responsible to other people in the way that we act in the restroom, right? We, we take care of our business, and wash our hands and we leave. End of story. That's it. That's why we're there. It's not Disneyland. No, that's the grossest Disneyland ever. Welcome to the toilet flush game. No, that doesn't work. No. Okay. Now, responsibility in the hallways. Walking on the right side of the hallway. Now, in America, we drive our car on the right side of the road. Yes, in Europe, England, and a couple of other places, they drive their car on the left side of the road. So when they walk in stores and in hallways, they actually walk on the left side, but we're not in Europe. No, that's not us. We're on the right side of the road. So we walk on the right side of the road. That way we walk and drive, and that way we can pass people. We are now being responsible about the six-foot distancing, right? we got to pay attention to what's happening in front of us, so we stop and then make sure the person behind us isn't getting close. Responsibility. But the big one, yeah, one that all the teachers are having trouble with, Doing your work. I mean, seriously. I'm telling you now, this has been the easiest amount of work ever in the history of school. Because with the computers, it makes it a little difficult, right? So your teachers are being very patient. They set up assignments. All you got to do is a couple of problems. They take a picture, right? It'd be hard. Like, you had 10 pages and you had to take pictures. It would be a pain. It would be a pain. But you guys still aren't doing your work. Is it boring? 
Maybe. Is it hard? Possibly. Do you hate doing work? Of course I do. Nobody likes doing work. Okay, that's not true. I like my work. Except for sometimes. Yeah, sometimes when I have to feel like, <clears throat> right? But everybody's like that, right? But work is not our first choice. We work to get something we need. I work to get a paycheck so I can pay for the things my family needs. You're working so that you can earn an education so that you can get things you need. Because an education means more money. Yeah, the more educated you are, the more money you make, right? So doctors who are very, very educated, they spend 20 years in school. Yeah, 20 years from preaching 20 years of school. And so they earn a lot more money. So everybody was like, oh, you're a doctor. You just earn so much more money. Well, yeah, but they worked for it. Responsibility. If you want the privileges, you have to do the work to earn it. So right now you're like, coach, I don't have a job. Yeah, you do. School is your job. Well, they don't pay me. Yeah, they do. They give you a certificate. That's your education, which means you can go to college, which means you can earn more money. Right? That's how it works. So, get your work done. It's a responsibility. Do your best at it. The same you would everything else we talk about. Always do your best. Now, let's talk about responsibility in the lunchroom. I saw a kid. He was throwing raisins at his friend in front of him. Of course, we got upset with him because you're not supposed to throw things. And you're not supposed to waste food. But here's the other thing. He was going to leave somebody else to clean that up. Again, the custodians are here to keep our school clean. They make sure it's free of the germs and bacteria, right? They sanitize. They make it pretty. They make sure things get painted. They keep it nice. Their job is to keep our school running and looking and smelling good. That's their job. Their job is not to pick up after you. Their job is not to pick up because you're not paying attention and you spill your milk. Their job is not to pick up all the burrito meat that falls out because you're talking and it's falling all over the floor. Their job is not so that you can eat crackers like a chipmunk and crumbs get all over the floor. That's not their job. Their job is to disinfect and clean afterwards. But they shouldn't have to pick up your food off the floor. They shouldn't have to pick up your drinks that you spill because you're not being responsible about taking care of that, making sure you don't knock it over. So you, hmm, at home, if you made a mess on the floor and started throwing raisins, I'm pretty sure somebody would be upset with you. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you'd have to clean it up. And I'm pretty sure you'd get in trouble beyond just cleaning it up. So why do it here? Next, responsibility as far as our playground and our area. Now, this year, it's been kind of hard, right? But we have a responsibility to make sure that we keep it clean. So when we have kite days, when we're out there with, we, you know, when you sell the boilies, when we give you guys treats, when your teachers give you treats and you get to take them outside. And that's, we don't throw things on the floor, right? We finish what we're eating, wrappers, candy, uh, watermelon. Oh, I missed watermelon. It was a sad day this year for softball. No watermelon tournament. I told me, sorry. I'm getting control. I'm getting control. <clears throat> okay, I'm better now. Kinda sad. Kite day just missed. I miss kite day. All the pretty kites up in the year. It was so beautiful. I don't miss all the string on the floor. I don't miss all the broken kite pieces everywhere. I don't miss those little sticks from putting the kites together everywhere. I don't miss the little tails because you guys, like I tell you, don't buy kites with tails because they're a pain and you don't listen. So you buy a pretty long tail and of course it gets ripped and there's pieces and then people put it on their foreheads and rip. I don't understand. I, I say not to, but nobody listens. But anyway, again, those times that we're here and hopefully next year we have those chances. If you do it, you clean it up. That's it. If everybody took care of what their responsibilities were, 
life would be so easy. You know, the teachers, if you were at school and everybody did their work, it'd be awesome. Everybody cleaned up after themselves, it'd be fantastic. We would have so much fun. If everybody just did what they were supposed to, it'd be amazing the things we could do. <sighs> Responsibility. If everybody takes care of their own, it's a beautiful, beautiful place we can live in. See ya.